Hi, Stephen from Owner Disown, and uh, I've got an exciting little video for you here. Um, you may recall I did a press release on the uh, AORUS X9. Well, uh, that generated quite a few uh, questions. So I'm interviewing uh, AORUS over in Taiwan. Now, there's a 12-hour time difference, and we're doing it via Skype, and uh, I've put all your questions uh, to them. So I've got most of the answers, and uh, there's, uh, there's two people. There's Andy and Candice uh, there. So... Um, now, I must first off apologize, there's no video feed from them, which was a shame. Um, we've just got audio, but I'm going to put some, uh, put some pictures in there, and uh, the internet connection was a little bit poor, so I'm going to do my best and edit it, and uh, even put some subtitles there to, to make you uh, help uh, you understand. So, let's see what they've got to say. This is uh, Stephen from Owner Dishon. We've got two special guests here. Actually, I uh, feel very privileged to be able to talk to uh, Candice and uh, Andy from... Uh, from Gigabyte, um, thank you for joining me uh, today. So, how are you both doing? We're doing good. Doing great, yeah. <laughs> all, all the way, yeah, I'm good. Thanks, yeah. All the way from Taiwan. So, we've got a 12-hour time difference here. So, uh, I'm in uh, my pajamas, and uh, so uh, early in the morning for you guys. So, um, thank you very much for uh, the, the press release on the uh, AOS X9, and certainly, you know, it generated a lot of questions, which um, I forwarded to you by uh, email, and you kindly sent send some of the, uh, the answers back. And I think uh, initially said it was going to be released um, at end of October. It's been now November. Any, any indication where it could be? Because I've looked on Newegg, it's not there yet. It's a little bit delayed, but we are going to have it uh, in the next several days. The next several days, okay. That's that's good then. And uh, of course, one uh, one SKU is available only in Newegg. The other one will be available, say, at Amazon and uh, General Reed, uh, box stores like Best Buy and Micro Center, Fry's, that type of thing, will it? Uh, most of the X9 will be available on the online reseller like New Egg, Excalibur PC, Excalibur PC, uh, Mobile, Advanced, etc. Ah, okay. So, yeah, like, like yeah, the online retail uh, uh, mm -hmm. merchants like so Excalibur. The online reseller, yeah. Okay, that's good then. All right. Um, so, um, so, the phone question I had initially was, you know, what was the relationship between uh, AORUS and Gigabyte? I wondered if you shared the same engineering teams. And I think the answer there is uh, you, you don't. Eh? The AORUS is the, is the gaming division, while Gigabyte is uh, is more mainstream. Um, so you, you, you don't uh, sh have any crossover in terms of uh, en uh, engineering know-how. That, is that, that correct? Yeah, exactly. Actually, AORUS and Gigabyte shares different engineering team. So, uh, what we're going to do this because you know the target audience of the Aorus and Gigabyte is totally different. For Aorus, it's target for those most premium, most top end product. And for Gigabyte, we just focus on trying to deliver something uh, affordable or high safety value, but still good for gaming. Yes, yeah, for sure. Yeah, you make some uh, great, great products. I've got the, uh, the X3 V7, and uh, I love that. It's very nice. And um, I was pleased to see that because, uh, you know, I've done. I've I've done quite a few laptop reviews and a lot of them with the uh, the i7 7820HK CPU in particular and that's a hot CPU uh, so um, you know one question I put to you was your, your, your QA testing do you test each laptop individually or do you batch test uh, can you just talk us through some of your, your testing procedures to make sure they come out the out the door perfectly uh, the basic picture of our testing would be that uh, in the DVT, also the EVT phase, uh, we will conduct a test in our lab by our Q, QT, QD engineer. And once it's confirmed before the mass production, we will deploy the uh, narrative test scenario into our factory because we have our own factory. So, which means every ORS, uh, I mean, every ORS and Gigabyte notebook before shipping now will through the whole test, including the burning, including the acoustic including the heat or cold wet, uh, I mean, high low temperature test. All, this, all kinds of tests will be conducted before shipping out. No, that's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I must admit, I very rarely hear anybody complain, say that, you know, their, their laptop doesn't uh, doesn't work as intended. So that, that's good to hear. Um, okay. Now, one question I, I did have was that, um, I mean, you'll, you'll know this, that uh, Intel uh, leave quite a bit of headroom in the, uh, in the voltage department and... Uh, you know, whenever I do get a laptop that gets hot on the CPU, 
I can typically undervolt it to up to about 140 millivolts and it's, it's perfectly stable. Overclocking that i7-7820, perhaps undervolting it by 90 millivolts perhaps. Um, but you don't uh, do that out of the box and um, I think you do that just because you're, are you concerned that it might be unstable? Is that, is that the reason why you don't, in fact not just you but any computer manufacturer, they don't do it? Basically we'll preserve the availability of the overclocking but uh, you know for you know, clocking is just something that uh, will make your system unstable. You know AMD's uh, Ryzen, ASUS is releasing theirs uh, supposedly and of course you've got uh, perhaps some other AMD Ryzen chips coming out. Is there any, um, no plans to uh, release any AMD chips is it? It's just all going to be Intel there. Eh? Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, basically we'll just try to uh, get in line with it here uh, because we still don't need a uh, quite clear moment or the whole picture about AMD going to deliver on the mobile devices. So we will try to keep it, watch it, keep watching it and to see if we can come some come up something that different. Yeah, I hope to do. I mean, uh, Intel needs a bit of competition. So uh, certainly, I, I mean, uh, they've released a couple of, um, you know, APUs, I suppose, lower powered ones, but... Um, I'm sure they will at uh, due course. Um, so, going back, going back, I suppose to the uh, the X9, um, the, the full powered uh, GTX 1070, so no uh, Max uh, Max Q in there. And you say that um, it's a 330 watt power supply. I, I do like that it's only just one power supply on here because typically you'd uh, MSI and then would have two, wouldn't they? Uh -huh, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So, so I think that's a big uh, selling uh, point. Yeah, to make it more portable. Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I agree, that's perfect. Now, the only concern I have would be that uh, in my test, the 1070 is around about 120 watts each. And in fact, I've overclocked a uh, an Asus G752VS. That's got the same CPU and a 1070, and that, that was 194 watts from the wall. Add in another 1070, I'd make it up to about 100, um, I'd make it up to about 314 watts. And that's not overclocking the GPU, so it's a bit bit tight. Though, did you will the will a battery drain them when you're playing? Uh, basically, there will be one ten watt for each ten seventy in our configuration, and I think that's the basic uh, Also, the standard from MV. Yeah, but it, for the CPU, they it, pull more watts so than one hundred and ten. Though there's still some capacity for the CPU. Yeah, they do pull more than 110 watts. Um, all right, so it's going to be tight though. Yeah, so I'd, I'd be interested to test that though to see, uh, you know, because I don't, I don't know power supplies. I don't know. I mean, they're not 100 percent efficient. They're probably uh, they're best 85, 90 percent uh, efficient. Huh? I don't know what you mean. Yeah, I don't know what you mean. Yeah, but you know, actually, there's still some about uh, about five to six percent of the powers of the adapter so which is it's not 330 actually okay but we won't have it yeah i mean i think it's a bold move i think it's great i mean i i, I always wanted a, a gtx 10 i always wanted yeah. an sli laptop like you have but i've put put off having two power supplies mm. Uh, I mean the design of it is fantastic i watched um in fact i'll encourage all my viewers to watch your, your youtube channel because you've got um, some excellent videos showing the, an interview with the, uh, the designer uh, Ray Ho, the designer, eh? and he, he goes through how he designed it, and yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, in a very, it's, it's got a very distinctive look to it, very aggressive, like a race car stroke airplane type of uh, thing, and uh, he goes through the cooling, and he also got a great video on there showing the cooling setup itself with uh, four fans, but you can actually only see two, but you got two fans. Under the uh, the motherboard, haven't you? Can you explain uh, a bit about that, please? Uh, basically, yeah. Uh, tonight we have highlighted it has the four fans. It's quite rare in the market. Uh, for the huger two ones, uh, those were dedicated for conducting not only through the uh, I mean through the heat pipe, but also through the PCB, also through the air. So which makes the temperature inside the chassis get hot. So it will uh, affect actually the durability of all the IC part, including CPU and GPU inside the chassis. So we have specially designed those two uh, small fans, try to display the heat generated and spread it inside the chassis, uh, and try to make the the temperature inside chassis cooler. 
the whole color system, including the huge two fans dedicated for CPU GPU, would be more efficient. All right, I think that's a great idea. It is. It's a good idea. And you've, you've got some gameplay footage on your channel uh, playing um, Rise of the Tomb Raider, and the two GTX 1070s are at about 65 degrees Celsius. That's very cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's very cool. Now, it didn't say show what the temperature of, of the CPU would be. What do you expect that to be when overclocked, say, to 4.3 gigahertz? Uh, in our internal standard, uh, even under overclocking, we hope that it will exceed over 83 degrees Celsius degree. Wow, that's fantastic. Yeah, what, what um, yeah. thermal interface paste do you, do you use on your, your CPU and the GPUs then? Uh, IC Diamond? Uh, about the actual brand and model, I need to. I think I need to check it out. But for all model, actually, the thermal paste has been selected. But as, you, as I say, I need to check out the model. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, because that's often a weak part, and you know, people, you know, open these things up and do it themselves. But if you do it right out the gate, which I suspect you are with those temperatures, that's uh, that's great. That leads me to my next question: is that. Um, yeah. You know, MSI has their warranty sticker over their screws. You guys put like um, some like wax coating over the screw heads. What what policy do you have on the uh, X9 in terms of people wanting to do upgrades? Is that uh, is that allowed? Like you know, putting an extra hard drive in a two terabyte hard drive type of thing, or can they do that? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, X9 it has two M.2 slot along with one 2.5 inch hard and an SSD slot. So which means you could have up, up to three. St storage at the same time, uh, promising you about uh, uh, 4 terabyte storage if it's 4 terabyte is not your hard drive. Okay, that's good. So they can do that themselves if they want to buy like perhaps the, the base model and then uh, upgrade later on. Okay. Um, now the panels don't have G-Sync. Um, yeah. I thought that was a quite a strange design choice. What was the reasoning behind that to, pre to pre preserve battery life, is it? Um, you know, for for about G Sync, uh, because I actually saw the the great performance of, about of the Pascal, and especially on X9 it features to uh, 1070 SI, which means if you set the uh, resolution to maybe 1440p or 1080p, the FPS will easily reach out and exceed the 60 or even 90 or even 120. So I think that's the reason why. While we remove the juicing, uh, we see that actually more and more users are seeking for something with time uh, even greater than 120. And I think that's good. We, we saw it and we just remove it. If NVIDIA has some kind of next gen G Sync, which, which may be promising over 90 or 120 sync rate, then we will, we will reconsider about. Adopting it. Okay, all right. It's also as expensed, isn't it? Um, you know, I mean, uh, I don't know how much extra it adds to a panel, but uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So you're in an effort to keep indeed, costs down indeed. as well. Yeah, I, I gotta say, I cannot, I cannot tell, I can tell the specific words, but uh, it's costly. You know? It's costly, yeah, yeah. And um, so I've had questions about, of course, uh, Intel's plans, which you may may not know about. Um, Releasing Coffee Lake uh, eighth gen CPUs. What have you, what's the latest on that? Uh, so I'm sure you'd like to put them in your laptops when uh, they come out. Uh, okay, sure. Uh, I want to I will give you some message about that. Actually, the eighth generation uh, Intel Core core processor you see now is all U series. But you know, on Aorus, we all utilize the H series. Uh, I cannot give you the exact uh, schedule, but maybe to the first quarter of the end of the first quarter on the 2018. So that's the reason why we uh, don't come up the uh, eighth gen in, I mean, in September because that's no. for U series, not for H series. Yeah. And there is a huge performance gap between the U series and H series. Uh, for one, once the Intel is ready, and we will have our ORs lined up ready for the Coffee Lake H. Yeah, perfect. I can't wait for that. That's going to be fantastic. So will that include, you think, a six core CPU? Will, will uh, Intel do a mobile six core? Coffee Lake, you think? What's your gut feeling? Will, it, will like like the i7 8700K uh, yeah. be six core? Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, that'd be good. Wow. Yeah, we we had the model name also checked. Having rumor about that, but uh, what I can say, uh, yeah, difference between the uh, mobile devices and desktop. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got a six core one coming in, so watch this space. So the uh, the X9 won't be available with a GTX 1080. That's quite clear, and I understand that. That makes sense. There's no point. Um, 
Next question was here, the Aero 15X, yeah, your Max-Q GTX 1070 one, um, that has a, a Thunderbolt 3 port. You, you, there's been concern about would it have two or four PCI Express lanes. I think you said that's going to have, that'll have four, so you can... Uh, out, Thunderbolt? Yeah, you'll have, I mean, all your laptops will have four PCI Express lanes under Thunderbolt 3, won't they? I mean, you don't skimp with that. And uh, in fact, they always have got their own uh, gaming yeah, boxes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It features the standard full line PCIe, so which means you can connect to the gaming box from our Sprint. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, in fact, I've got the um, yeah, yeah, GTX 1080 gaming box coming in, so I'll uh, I should be able to hook that up to my X3, shouldn't I? I should ch check, but um, that's my plan. Now the uh, the 4K panel, what uh, what? You've, you've got your spec sheets uh, say the Adobe RGB is 100%. Uh, I suppose uh, the sRGB must be pretty high then. Eh? That's uh, what uh, what's uh, what's the reading on that? The sRGB. Uh, you you mean on Aero 15X or X9? Oh, uh, on the X9. Sorry. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Actually, on the 4K panel, we, we utilize it on X9 features the Adobe RGB 100%. The coverage of the color space is that actually Adobe RGB features much wider and big. It should be 127. 127, yeah. I mean, of the sRGB color space. So with the more vibrant color, and I think it's quite useful for those professional users because when er whenever they're editing the photos or videos, Adobe RGB is always the standard Sorry. color space they utilize. Oh, definitely, yeah, yeah. No, it's going to be a great machine for that, without a doubt. Now, I had one question here, Jay. Uh, the, one of my viewers says you don't sell the uh, laptops in the Netherlands. I, I didn't know that. That seemed quite strange. Is that the case? Or? Uh, I'm sure, well, yeah, I'm sure uh, you do. We're still, uh, we're still talking about Passport. Yeah, yeah co co Passport Corporated Dealer, also the distributor right there. Uh, yeah, I, I, have, I have reported to our VP and we have claimed that on either line is a quite potential market. So... Or right. Okay. Yeah. No. It's, it's, um, exactly. I, I'm sure you'll sell, you'll sell there. Now, one big one, one question I've got here. Um, you typically use Elan touch pads. What uh, What's on the X9? Yeah. Is that Elan again? Uh, uh, yes. Yes. Uh, so, uh, we tried to uh, seeking for a solution from Microsoft about the Windows precision. Uh, I gotta say the AVL, I mean the model of touchpad provides quite limited and also the MRE charge is amazing and we need to pay another loyalty to Microsoft. Ah, uh, uh, is that the reason uh, then, eh? Loyalty to freaking Microsoft. <laughs> so we're still negotiating with Microsoft about that, but uh, before that happened, we st will still utilize the ones from Elan. How about Synaptics? Uh, do they, uh, I suppose you have to pay them as well. I, I mean, they're, be they're better than uh, Elan. Elan's the worst one. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a shame. Uh, I think I'm for Windows Precision Touchpad, I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I think it should be better. Uh, That's good. Because I have a test engineering sample about that, I got to say it's a little bit better. Not that huge difference, but... Uh, a little bit better, but yeah. yeah, we're still trying to discuss with them about uh, availability. Okay, all right. Well, thank you very much for your time, uh, Candice and uh, Andy. And um, uh, you know, I, I I encourage everybody to look Thanks. at your, your 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 own YouTube channel. It's it's it, it's very good. And uh, thank you again. Thanks very much for your support uh, on my channel. Thank okay, you. Thanks. Glad you like it. All right. Have a good day, working Bye. day. I'm Pleasure. off. I'm off the bed. Thank you for your time. <laughs> all right. Bye. Bye.